Good. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Van Life and in this episode we're pretty much just unboxing some um, active balances and I'll explain in a moment what active um, balances do and why you might need one or might not need one as the case might be. With um, lithium ion phosphate batteries it's always a challenge to uh, keep all of the cells exactly the same voltage. Anybody who's connected two car batteries to form a 24 volt battery in the old days will know that um, over time uh, the batteries go out of sync. One gets a high voltage and the other one gets low voltage. Overall both add up to 24 but they, they go sort of out of sync. With <coughs> these cells um, the same happens. You could actually four cells minimum. Um, some guys have uh, eight cells, some have 16 cell batteries and uh, the possibility of, of runners and laggers is quite high. So let me explain what active balancing is. So let's say on a battery you've got four cells. Um, most BMS's, so BMS is a, obviously a, a battery management system, so the BMS uh, attaches to all four of these cells and, and is constantly monitoring and measuring the voltage in all of these cells. And what it does is, is that when uh, one of the cells is too high so you've got a, a delta between the highest and the lowest cell of a certain amount and different BMSs that amount differs. What it'll do is it will uh, actually bleed off energy of the, the cell with the highest voltage. So it doesn't, just to be clear, it doesn't transfer charge from one cell to another. It just simply takes the highest one and it bleeds it off with a resistor, so using a bit of heat. Uh, active balancing is because it's using a resistor and just heating up, uh, it's, it's most BMSs uh, act to balance at a very low current. Um, practically, your cells must be well matched, otherwise active bal uh, passive balancing doesn't actually do the trick. It doesn't really help much. This is a QN BBM uh, active balancer, I think. We bought this quite some time ago. They were quite pricey. I think they were close to sort of the 100 pound mark if I remember correctly. It's quite a big heavy device. Now the idea with this one is that you connect a bunch of wires and you can connect them you sort of add on uh, if you have more than four cells um, and the idea is that these will uh, active balance your battery cells. We have this on a battery that we built. We've been monitoring it and uh, very pleased with the results. It balances that battery beautifully. Delhi have just come out with two models of active balancers. So it's a little one here. Uh, it's so this is an, uh, they call it a hardware active equalizer. Uh, uh, this one is obviously for a 4S, so it's got um, your standard uh, like a balance lead and you would need to terminate these balance leads obviously. You've got one black one going to the main neutral and then four red ones going to each cell and uh, it has a little LED that I can see um, <clears throat> and according to this it balances to a max of one amp. Um, we'll be uh, actually putting these through, putting all of these through their paces, comparing them in another episode. We just wanted to have this very very simple uh, video on, on unboxing these and having a, a brief first look at them. Um, but my understanding is that these, uh, you can't configure anything at all on them. Uh, what you, you know, basically what you have is what you have. And uh, I think they kick in when cells are above 3.3 volts. All cells must be above 3.3 volts. And then it will take uh, supposedly the highest cell and use that to charge the lowest cell. Or maybe they do all four cells at the same time. I'm not sure yet. We'll be measuring the current flow across these wires to see what it actually does. So very, very small. I mean, this you can see, this is absolutely tiny. Compared to this, it's, it's very lightweight and very small and quite easy to tuck into a battery somewhere out of the way. Obviously, you do have to terminate these with your, with your lugs or your connectors. This here is the software active equalizer. So this one here is a um, for a 4S just merely because we asked for 4S so they, they, they only have, in terms of hardware, they only have a 16S port 
So that's 17 connectors, obviously, black and 16 reds. Uh, and what they've done, what Dali have done, is they've actually just chopped off the wires of uh, everything after 4S, um, <clears throat> which is sort of quite crazy. You'd think they would just leave it on and leave us to chop it off, but maybe they need to do it really dummy proof. I don't use these other ones. I, I don't know if you put a 16S uh, lead, because this is a standard 16S uh, balance lead that they've chopped all of these off. I don't know if you put one on, if, if it'll actually work as a, as a 8S or 16S, or whether it's uh, set here in stone that I mean the, the sticker and it's quite a fuzzy quite difficult to read but this does say it is 4s so assuming that um, they might have just stuck the sticker on and that it is it can actually be used as an 8s or, an, or a 16s so again you'd need to terminate these with lugs going to the batteries and they're a bit longer than the uh, the hardware one so that's this is quite short, in fact. Um, I suspect that this wouldn't be long enough for a lot of batteries. This is, I'd say, is probably long enough for burst batteries, so that's good. They've given us a bit of length in that. On the other side here, they have two ports. The first is uh, for the uh, UART port for the uh, for, for Bluetooth dongle or something else. I guess the UART ports and the BMSs can be used for various things. Um, but the main use of the UART port would be for a Bluetooth dongle. It has the usual, uh, this is a standard Bluetooth dongle that Daily use for the BMSs as well, so it's the same dongle, interchangeable. Um, and it has a little micro switch uh, that would be used, uh, we're guessing, to be used to turn this on uh, just as you would turn a BMS on. It also has a, a 485 port, a serial port, to, to connect to various things. I'm not sure yet exactly what you do with this, but uh, it's good that they have given some expansion, some connectivity. So in building a battery, you would, you would have, essentially, you, you would need your BMS. So if you're using a daily BMS, you'll have uh, a dongle for the BMS as well as the dongle for this, if you're using the smart one, and you need to connect to one or the other. And we'll see in a future episode uh, just how it works. So which so far, which which do I prefer? Just taking out of the box. Uh, this you've got to mount somewhere, and it's got these um, exposed um, points on the back of the board. So, in some ways, uh, because you'd need to take that into account and have some some sort of washers holding it off away from something, um, and with the possibility of just sort of general humidity and that getting to this, I do prefer this approach where it is easier to mount. Um, I like the fact that they've given us the wires, you just need to terminate them with the correct lug for your battery. Whereas here you get your own wires and you make it up yourself. So in some ways I prefer, I mean this is just lovely, it's just so tiny and dinky and if it works really really well and you can just tuck it away then that would be great. But we're going to see, uh, I mean we'll be measuring current flow across the wires and just seeing how they perform but actually the main thing we want to see, uh, we've got somebody who's got a, a battery that um, uh, he had a problem with some cells uh, lower than the others and we're actually keen to get that from him so we can run some tests on that and actually connect one of these and leave it on for a day or two or three or four and see how long it takes uh, for this to get uh, all the cells back in balance. This, the, these may not be fast enough because they are only one amp, uh, but then we'll see when we get to do that. So folks, thanks for watching and uh, very brief unboxing of this. Uh, we'll, uh, as I said in a future episode, we'll be putting these through some uh, practical tests, uh, informative, but mainly practical. We wanna see from uh, your point of view is it really worth uh, buying one of these when you already have a battery with a BMS or whatever? Uh, is this really going to help you? And uh, so stick with us and we'll see you in a future episode.